Hi guys, just along the lines of the simple nail art I've been doing the last few days, I'm just going to do another quick tutorial showing you the star form stickers. And instead of using pigment, I'm going to use just a craft glitter, which is a very, very holographic gold glitter. I believe this was from Lincraft, and I believe they've discontinued these, so don't get your hopes up. Uh, but you can find this on eBay, you can find this at um, any nail suppliers, this type of stuff. And I have also got here some different star form stickers, some different outline stickers these are. So when you search for these, if you search for these at a craft shop or eBay, you need to put in star form outline stickers. And there's different ones, I'll just show you. There's like a sort of fishnetty, gritty type one. Uh, this one here, it's like a scrolly sort of corner effect. Another sort of different scrolly corner effect. You can see these are quite popular, I use those. And then there is a scalloped edge there. And last but not least, the very popular one. I use this all the time. That is another scalloped edge. And I have also a brush from just a craft shop, which is I use for glitters and pigments. And I have already covered my painted, sorry, very messily, I will just ignore the top of the edge there. I have covered it in two coats of Fedora and I will just find which sticker I'm going to use and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm going to use Starform sticker 1278. If I can see if you can zoom, sorry that's very, very shiny but that's the one I'm going to use and it's a scalloped one. I'm using one with fairly large gaps because I really want the glitters to show through. So I'm just going to take that off the back of the, of the sticky paper. So as you can see on the paper you're left with the white spaces and the sticker. Sorry, I'll just get this all positioned. The sticker looks like this. So you've got some lovely outlines. Similar to the one I did the other day, just not as scrolly. So I'm just going to place that on the tacky layer of the second coat of fedora where I want it positioned. Ooh. Okay, so I've stuck it on. Just get that glitter out of the way. Sorry, that's a bit distracting, isn't it? And then I'm going to lightly press it down with my side of my brush so I don't end up with fingerprints in the shellac. Just make sure it's all pressed down because with glitter it's very unforgiving if you get this on the bits that you don't want it on it looks a bit I don't like I just don't like the the glitter to be where it shouldn't be you'll see what I mean when I take the sticker off because I suspect we're gonna have a little bit because it's curved there it's probably gonna leak underneath and you've got to realize as well your clients nails aren't usually this long if you uh, doing shellac so you can probably sometimes get away with half of one of these stickers yeah, okay, we're going to have an issue up there, but I'll, I'll, I'll make a mistake up there so I can show you what's going to happen because it's not quite stuck down. All right, okay, so pressed it down, theoretically, <laughs> until it pings back up again. Get your glitter and probably make a mess because I'm good at that. Hold it, I'm going to hold my nail over my glitter pot, theoretically, so that some of it goes back in and just press, 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 press it into the gaps where the sticker is, or where the sticker isn't. So you just press it in, and this is where it's not stuck down, so you're actually going to have a bit of an issue there because it's going to go underneath, so your design won't be perfect, but you theoretically won't have that issue with a client because the client's nails will be smaller. Sorry guys, I've got that right out of the, the picture. Once you've done that, really, really, really give it a vigorous brush. Not a scrub, just one way, brush down. Get You really need this patted down before you move your sticker. Don't worry too much about up there because that's probably not going to have worked at all because it is, if you can see, it is lifting there so you're not going to have the desired effect when you lift it up. But make sure it's all patted down so that when you do remove your sticker and your top coat, your glitter is 
stuck down and it's not going to disappear I'm not it's not going to move okay so I'm just going to get the glitter out of the way before I remove the sticker because you know how accident prone I am and I'll probably knock it over Ooh, that's very holographic okay so let's remove the sticker Ta -da! and see what we get so let's okay so as I remove it you are left with an absolutely gorgeous pattern which isn't showing up too well well it is but sorry I'm really waffling there okay I'll stop waffling and I'll just clean this up and I'll be back at one second okay so just ignore the enormous amount of glitter on the floor there on the town I should say and let's see if I can zoom in okay so that's the effect that you get so when you remove the sticker if you've pressed the glitter down well enough there will be no glitter in the gaps and you will get this I think this looks like a stained glass window to be to be honest because of the the glitter that I've chosen it just reminds me of that and the pattern and then once you've done that you get your top coat okay so when you get your top coat just to ensure that you don't get your glitter where you don't want it just in case you haven't pressed it down as thoroughly as you could float the brush over so hold it almost parallel put in a good amount on and float it across so that the glitter doesn't move into the gaps and obviously I'm using an inordinate amount of top coat here because the colour pop is a lot bigger than a nail but very very gently just float it down the nail and as you can see I've patted that down very well so none of the glitter is moving into the gaps and the only issue that we had with this was at the top where the sticker didn't actually cover let me see if I can point to it just up here where it looks a bit splodgy there should have been another line but that will only happen when you don't press it down properly enough or well enough that made perfect sense didn't it okay guys so I'm just going to pop that in the lamp for two minutes and I'll be back okay guys it's been in the lamp for two minutes I've removed the inhibition layer and as you can see you get this stunning I guess it is a stained glass window type of thing you get this gorgeous pattern you can use glitter you can use pigments you can use eyeshadows and you don't have to use star form stickers you just need a sticker that obviously leaves the pattern like that so a hollow an outline sticker is perfect any scrapbooking store would probably carry these any craft store really really easy the client my clients absolutely love this type of thing I do it on fingers and I do it on toes and it's just a, such a simple nail art if you if you can't hand paint and you can't stamp this is another great option for you okay guys so I hope this is of some use to you if you like the video please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please do so okay thank you bye